we're on the verge of a farming robot revolution. Investors poured $700 million into agricultural technology in 2017 alone. But are farm bots ready to deliver? We came to Leckford Estate in the south of England to see how one startup is working to change the face of farming. So this is Tom, our monitoring robot. At the moment we're in a, in a trials phase. So Tom is looking at the, the wheat crop that we have here and, uh, and gathering data on it. So analyzing where the, where the weeds are, looking at the, the health status of that plant. So looking at any disease issues, nutrient issues. And we're, he's just taking um, high quality digital images top down at the moment. Uh, and that goes into Wilma, who's our AI. Wilma's artificial intelligence matches the images to precise GPS data, generating a map that's accurate to within two centimetres. The farmer can then zoom right in on specific plants, potentially isolating problems before they can spread. For Andrew Hode, the head of Leckford Estate, it's a game changer. Leckford Estate is a 4,000 acre estate, that's about 1,800 hectares. With such a large area, we, we, we can't realistically cover every part of the estate. So having a bit of machinery that is in a field able to tell us in real time what is going on enables us to be much more responsive and be more precise about what we are doing. The technology still has a way to go. The Tom prototype struggles to cover some of the farm's more rugged terrain. And in its current form, it can't even go out in the rain. But for Andrew, exploiting the data from Tom and Wilma could mean lower costs and a kinder impact on the environment. Like any farm, we are facing into higher energy costs. Conventional farming also relies heavily on, on inputs and the ability to be able to have very targeted interventions that will reduce the amount of physical things that need to go into the crop because you, you've got that visibility of that single plant will mean that actually there's potentially the opportunity, I think from the research that Small Robot Company have done, to take out about 60% of the input cost. Now that's not just a cost thing, that's a really good thing for the environment. That kind of payoff will only be possible if farmers replace their tractors and combines with a new breed of technology. Smart bots, light and nimble enough to seed, weed and feed individual plants without damaging others in the same field. For Small Robot Company, this is the next phase. Looking at Harry here, you will notice that Harry has the capacity not just to carry a boom for planting, uh, but also uh, another boom underneath for electric weeding, or another boom underneath for some clever way of being able to kill pests which doesn't need chemicals. You know, we are a, a starting point to allow all sorts of clever technologies to be applied for arable farmers. Moving past this starting point, will take innovation and funding, both of which may be hard to come by given the low unit value of the staple crops like wheat and soy that this bot is designed for. Where we're going to really drive the, the large increases in food production uh, at a sustainable level is going to happen is in arable. And there, unfortunately, there is much less interest because from a startup perspective, the value is less, which means we've got a much longer journey to be able to get there. Small robot company may still be years from delivering on the full potential of farm bots. But if their bots can replace the heavy machinery of today's large-scale farming, they could change the industry and the landscape beyond recognition.